Well, one notable thing on both almanac, almanacs is how early the sun sets from now on. <laughs> 4.30, Hannah. Uh, 4.20 in Bangor, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's early out there, but I will say that, you know, even though the next few months we've got those early sunsets, eventually we will eventually uh, make our way back to about five o'clock by February 7th-ish. So okay. <laughs> so if, if, if you're counting down when things are lighter a little later, it's February. But don't hold your breath quite yet. <laughs> Not yet. We've, we've still got some, some ways to go there. We've got a lot of cold on the way too. Uh, chilly out there as we get into the start of the week. But for now, for this time of day, it's still fairly mild. I would consider that mid 40s uh, around midnight to be on the warmer side of things. It's 50 degrees in Wiscasset right now. It's 43 in Sebago and 45 in Sanford. And again, I don't expect temperatures to fall too much over the next couple hours, but we do eventually start to pull in some cooler air. Down east, still 54 degrees in Eastport right now. 50 in Bar Harbor, 51 in Southwest Harbor. We're looking at 48 in Bangor right now, 35 at Escort Station. So you can actually see where that colder air is going to start to work its way in first. The other way to see that, of course, is by looking at the radar. Here's the showers that we've got. Keeping an eye on this heavier band of rain right here that's en route to Bangor, and that's eventually going to work its way right across the I-95 corridor. Uh, still good to see this much rain, though. We still need that precip after being so dry. Starting to mix in some flakes again through the western mountains and into northern sections of Coas County. I still don't know how much of this is actually snow or if it's the radar algorithms overproducing it and it's actually just a little bit more on the rainy side. Uh, but I still think that tomorrow we will end up with some accumulation. And here's that zoomed out view again. What we'll see is intensifying low pressure to our east tomorrow, and that allows the colder air to wrap around and ultimately bring some snow back to Maine. Over the next few hours, cloud cover tries to clear out. There's those cooler temps. The colder air settles in tomorrow. Check it out. We've got some upslope snow showers going on through the morning and then some snow uh, through western and or rather through eastern and northern Maine as we get a little later into the early afternoon tomorrow. And then beyond that, we filter in much colder air with a second disturbance on the way overnight uh, into Tuesday morning. Snow total is not that impressive. And honestly, I still feel decent about this map. Maybe not quite as many spots actually reaching two to three inches in the county. But still, I think that we'll see some very minor impacts from snowfall. The bigger story for tomorrow is going to be the wind widespread 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts possible. This area that I have highlighted in red from the mid coast all the way up into the foothills and the mountains is where I've got 40 to 45 miles an hour. I could see maybe a stronger gust from Lewiston to say the Belgrade's, Belgrade Lakes region uh, and back down toward the mid coast. And then 45 mile an hour and higher is mostly going to be reserved for very southern parts of York County. Good news is wind out of the west northwest. That's a good wind direction for us to not see a lot of damage. No leaves on the trees. All good things that say probably not widespread power outages. It'll still be cold on Tuesday, so bundle up for Election Day, but we trend warmer by the end of the week. Uh, your wind chills as we get into the afternoon tomorrow, though, are going to be pretty, pretty cold. It's going to feel more like the teens outside. So. We got to get through the cold weather before we can enjoy some more mild temperatures. Seas tomorrow, six to nine feet west wind gusting to 45 knots. Your seven day forecast inland looks beautiful starting Wednesday onward. 60s with sunshine for next weekend. Similar at the coastline, although I think it's possible that we could be talking about mid 60s as we get into the end of the week and maybe the start of the weekend. And Hannah, mid 60s for this time of year is, you know, 10 to 15 degrees above average. So pretty impressive to see that much of a deviation from normal. And I think a lot of people are going to be excited to bring back the sunny 60s. Yeah, for manners, that's a beach day right there. Absolutely. Break <laughs> out the shorts and t-shirt. Enjoy it. What a treat. Thank you, Mike.